one of the big questions that the Maui News survey also asks us is how we would handle the medical issue that's in front of us as citizens and also possible providers to our tourists. Our tourists make up a huge part of our island community. We barely have 130,000 people in this whole county if you count left, count right, but we get nearly a million visitors a year even though it's gonna, that number's gonna be down. But we get a lot of people on this island. So the hospital situation is big for not only for public safety reasons, which I think is the main reason, but also in the quality of care that we get. Ms. Baker suggested enlarging the John Byrne School of Medicine, which is a University of Hawaii campus. I am not saying anything bad about them. My daughter's life was saved by one of their graduates. Dr. Hirayama, a neonatal doctor, fresh out of school, saved my daughter's life on March 31st, 1988 at Mount Memorial Hospital. They put out some fine doctors. We have room, though, for more. One of the stories that I've heard that, of course, you know, when you're not in uh, government or reading the newspaper and everything that can possibly be absorbed, I learned that the Mayo Clinic came to Maui. Uh, well, actually tried to come to Maui. First, they went through Governor Cayetano's office. I have a letter here that was sent to me by the former mayor of Rochester, Minnesota. He grew up on Maui. He's a Maui boy. He spent six months a year here. In this letter, he follows with the last paragraph. Let me know if there's anything you think I can help you with in your efforts to secure the Senate seat from Maui. Good luck, mahalo aloha, Chuck Hazama. This gentleman is the longest running politician in that city's history. Consecutive years in office, 17, and he was the mayor and brought the two leaders of the Mayo Clinic, the famous Mayo Clinic, to Governor Cayetano's office and told them that we would like to build a teaching hospital, research center, and also the extra employees chemical production of life-saving drugs would create. It's a clean industry. Ask the people of Thousand Oaks, California. Two and a half percent of the people who live in Thousand Oaks, California work for Amgen, a company that has saved lives and employed the local population and considered some of the happiest in the country. So, the governor sits down with these two envoys and the Maui boy, Chuck Kazama, who is the, at that point about to leave office. They offer to put a hospital at their expense, 250 bed plus all these other facilities at their expense but they needed to sidestep the certificate of need process. They didn't say it in so many words, but you know what? Why would the leaders fly in on their private jet of a world-renowned private university and ask for the special permission to come in and build a life-saving facility? The reason is, is that the United States Air Force and the Boeing Company had gotten one of the first supercomputers ever produced, the Cray supercomputer. Some will debate that it may be an IBM, but IBM guts, who knows. Was put in Kihei, of all places, to assist the United States Air Force, the National Security Administration, to run the satellites from Haleakala. This supercomputer was also capable of doing extremely complicated math and other equations that biologists, chemists, and doctors need to determine what cures and causes there are of life-threatening illnesses, which cancer usually is a killer of. I watched a friend pass away the other day up at Kula San. It broke my heart. This guy lived in the, in the Pili for like 30 years, and he died in Kula because Mount Memorial shipped him off there. That was too much to see, but I had to put up with it. The Mayo Clinic offered to build a cancer research facility nearly 10 years ago on this island 
and employ nearly thousands of people, and also pay for it. Either Guy, Governor Cayetano had absolutely no idea what a gift of God this was, or Senator Baker lacked the skills or foresight to see the problem and say, are you out of your ever-loving mind asking them to build this hospital and facility in Honolulu and fly people back and forth? That's what went wrong. The governor tried to hijack this hospital and facility to Honolulu for the benefit of the people of Honolulu's job force and taxation base. Not listening to the leaders of this university that they wanted to be across the street from the supercomputer, one of only, I think, six at the time in the world. You don't do ocean research in Nebraska. You do cancer research next to a facility that has the power and the acumen to get the job done. As they say, that's the Akamai thing. Well, anyway, after fighting City Hall in three different, different meetings that Cayetano and I think Miss Baker were involved in, she could have been totally out of the picture. I'm not sure. You'll have to ask her what happened here. But frustrated, the Mayo Clinic executives left town in their private jet, and as some people will tell you that live in the Phoenix and Jacksonville, Florida areas, they have a Mayo Clinic in their town now. It should have started here on Maui. So when Miss Baker says that we should expand the John Burns University, I think we ought to talk to Stanford, USC, John Hopkins, Baylor, you're getting my drift, if they have the time, energy, and the fundraising to take on an enterprise and build a private university here on Maui and get a free hospital at the same time. Because after all, that's what it would have cost the people of Maui. Nothing. About seven minutes.